consider a special kind of queue, a queue where the service rate actually increases the more customers there are. So imagine this could be in a bank where every time a new customer comes in, we actually add a new teller to take care of the customer. So uh, we call such a queue an MM slash infinity queue. And the MM infinity, infinity queue, it says infinity over here, that's a number of servers because as we have more and more customers and the number of customers can be unbounded, the number of servers is also unbounded. So uh, this is also called a responsive server because we respond uh, to the service requests by adding more service capacity over time. Now, uh, to study this queue, it turns out it's actually not very difficult because we start by just drawing the state diagram. So we have over here each state represents the uh, number of customers in the queue. It's again a birth death process because we have arrivals and departures. So we have zero, one, two, etc. And now customers arrive at the rate lambda because it's uh, M over here means it's a lambda. It's always going to be uh, at the rate of lambda. And let's say that's state J. And then the departure, however, is going to be mu when we're in state one. And over here, it's going to be at the state rate two mu because there are two servers. And in general, they're going to have J mu as the departure rate from state J. The arrival rate is going to be uh, lambda. Uh, but the departure rate is going to be uh, J mu over here. So to study the process, we go back to the same equation that we had before, which was this equation which, uh, which, uh, which says that pi J star, and this is for a general birth death process. Pi J star is given by pi zero star, uh, the product I equals zero to J minus one, lambda i by mu i plus one. And we can plug in into here the values over here. So we get uh, over here um, the uh, pi zero star. And it will be uh, pi, uh, sorry, the product, the big pi, uh, i equals zero to j minus one. Lambda, because that's the arrival rate, over i plus one mu because that's the service rate. It's always the, uh, so uh, it's state j, it's j plus one, uh, yeah, so it's j plus one mu coming in into the state. Um, and this can be therefore expanded as being uh, pi zero star uh, lambda by mu to the power j times one over j factorial because we're going to have this i plus one, uh, zero to i minus one just becomes one over j factorial. And so the probability of being in the j state by j star is just this. And we now need to solve for pi zero star. And to solve for it, we're going to uh, use the same approach, which is uh, we're going to say pi zero star. So we know that uh, pi zero, we know that, uh, sorry, we know that sigma pi i star equals one, and so from that we get pi zero star is equal to one over, and I'll add, write out the expression, one plus j equals one to infinity, uh, lambda by mu to the power j, one over j factorial. Now, uh, we remember that lambda by mu equals rho, so this is going to be one over one plus sigma j equals one to infinity rho to the j by j factorial. And uh, this is just the expansion for e, uh, e to the x, I'm sorry. So this becomes one over uh, e to the power uh, rho, which is going to be e to the minus rho. So pi zero star is going to be e to the minus rho, and pi j star will be given by, will be given by, uh, from this equation over here, we get uh, e to the minus rho, uh, rho to the j by j factorial, 
And this, of course, is just the Poisson distribution.